Hi, my name is Jonathan, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the trigger template for creating face lenses. The trigger template provides a base for creating face lenses that react to user events, such as when they open their mouth, raise their eyebrows, or touch the screen. The lens can trigger 3D and 2D animation as well as sound. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and open the trigger template. To begin, we'll remove the objects labeled Remove Me in the Objects panel. We'll do the same for the Resources panel. Finally, let's remove the scripts in the head and lens hint object so we can start fresh. Next, we're going to import our assets into our project. We can drag our 3D objects into our objects panel. We can also import our other assets such as 2D textures and sound by dragging them into our resources panel. Finally, we can add our animated texture by going to the resources panel and clicking Add New to the animation from file. Take a look at our importing guide in the documentation site for more information. Now that we have our assets, let's create our scene. To place our 2D texture, in the Objects panel, click Add New, Billboard. Then in the Inspector, set the texture to use our imported texture. In your Scene panel, you can resize the billboard to your liking by dragging the boxes in the corner. I'll skip ahead as I set up the rest of the scene. Now we need to apply materials to our 3D model. For the sake of time, we're applying existing material. If you would like to know more about creating PBR materials for your own model, check out the documentation website. We need to do this for each of our mesh. I'll skip ahead as I set up the rest of the scene. Let's drag our 3D object underneath head object so we can bind it to the user's face. This head object contains the head binding component which will modify our object's current position, rotation, and scale relative to our user's face. Then in the 3D panel, we can move it to the correct location by using the Move, Rotation, and Scale tool. Let's make our lens more engaging by adding events that the user can trigger. To do this, we'll add a helper script to our head object. In the new script component, set the script to the face trigger anim script found in the scripts folder. In the 3D object we imported earlier, we have an animation layer that makes the glasses flip up called layer 0. Let's have the user play this. In the script input, we'll set the animation trigger to open mouth and add our animation from earlier. If we switch the preview window to video, and select Open Mouth, we can see this trigger in action. You can learn more about preparing a 3D animation for Lens Studio in the 3D Animation Guide page on the documentation website. You can have multiple triggers in a lens. Let's play the 2D animated sprite that we added earlier. Let's turn off Always Play in the Inspector panel of our animated texture. This way, we can call it using our script instead. We will do the same and add another Face Trigger Anim script in the head object. Under 2D Anim Control, we'll add our animated sprite. This time, we'll choose Tap as our animation trigger. Now, when you tap the screen, you should see your sprite play. Finally, to help users use this lens, let's add some lens hint. In the lens hint object, you can add multiple hints to your lens. To add a hint to trigger, add a script component and choose the script Show Hint in the Scripts folder. You can set the script to activate when you want the hint to show. In this case, if the user switched to front camera, we want to tell them to open their mouth. We can add another hint by adding another script component and choosing the same script. This time, we will choose Switch to Rear Camera and display Try It With A Friend. With our triggers and hint customized, we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. The trigger template is a flexible template that can help 2D and 3D animator, sound artists, and other creatives create engaging experiences by giving the user interactivity when playing with the lens. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own face lenses using the trigger template.